If you want to import reference images or video into Blender Grease Pencil, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the import images add-on installed. So all you need to do is go up to edit and go into preferences and then under add-ons type in import image and you'll have it right here. So just make sure that this is selected. Next you need to go up to here where it says draw mode and select object mode and then go over to add and then scroll down to image and you'll have images as planes. And then from here, you can go into whatever folder has your video or images that you wanna import. And so you just select it, click import image as planes, and now it is successfully into your project file. Now see, over here you'll see that my resolution is 4K, so I just need to click S and scale this up. And then I can easily scale this up to the correct size. And now when I play it, the file plays. Now if I'm playing this as a loop, you'll see that it's stopping because I actually have more frames down on my timeline than I have frames in the video. So I'll find the ending frame is 11, so I'll just go over to my end frame and click 11, and now it'll play the correct amount of frames seamlessly. The other thing you'll want to do is make sure that your frame rate is matching your source file. So this source file was 15 frames a second. So I went over here under the output tab and I made it 15 frames a second. And then of course you can adjust the resolution. And then when you go into output, you have your folder that you will output it as, and you can choose your color depth, uh, whether it has transparent backgrounds. An important note is the viewport shading. If you're up here in solid mode, you won't see your reference footage. So you wanna go over to the right and click on this one, the rendered shading, and now you'll see the reference footage in the background. Also, go over to your footage under where you imported it and you'll obviously have to make sure that the eyeball is turned on or else you won't see it either. So this is just a very simple way to get your images into a blender that you can rotoscope, trace, or just use as reference.